Okay guys, in this tutorial, we will learn about the implementation of KVL or Kirchhoff's voltage law within the Proteus. So first of all, we need to understand that what KVL is. KVL just simply says that within a circuit, all the voltage rises must be dropped within the same circuit. Means that if 12 volt volt voltage is given to a circuit then 12 volt must be dropped within the same circuit or you can also say that sum of all the rising voltages must be equal to the sum of all the dropping voltages so sum of rise is equal to the sum of drop and all this must be within the same circuit and why we used to call it a sum and not just voltage because we know that within the same circuit two or more sources must be there like two two generators or two uh, batteries so so if there are two or more sources to rise the voltage then we can say that sum of the rising voltage is equal to the sum of dropping voltage so in order to understand it first of all we need to take resistors that is write your resistors okay okay and then select 0.6 watt metal fan then select 100 ohm or you can select 120 ohm after selecting, just place this resistor in the window. Okay, now, now we have dropped three resistors. What we need to do? Just to connect them in series. Now we will change the resistance of the single resistor. That is 120 ohm is the resistance for R1. 120 ohm is the resistance for R2. But we will change this 120 ohm to 100 ohm. And the last one to just 70 ohm. And we know that resistors are actually the components which cannot raise the voltage within the circuit. They are supposed to be drop the voltage or you can say that they are the uh they, they cannot rise voltage they they uh, they must have to drop the voltage it is their specific property so now we will need one voltage riser riser means a source which can rise the voltage we have here our voltage source so we need to double click on it and we need to write 12 volts and then we will see that this voltage riser or this battery or this DC generator is actually generating 12 volts that is rising the 12 volts within the circuit but we also know that for circuit in order to operate properly we need at least one ground so ground must be connected on the other side of the resistors then what will happen now we have condition that is voltage riser is equal to the battery and is of 12 volt and either of these resistors are dissipating or you can say that dropping the voltage in order to find this we need dc voltmeter first of all okay put these three dc voltmeter and attach parallelly with the, the resistors okay that is because voltage measurement is also to be measured parallelly not in series so now we know that 12 volt is provided by our battery then we will run it And now we can see see that plus 
volt is dropped along the 120 ohm 4.29 is across 100 ohm and 2.57 is across 60 ohm 5.14 and 4.29 and plus 2.57 so 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 plus 2 is 11 and 11 point uh, in order to sum this that is 57 29 and 14 will yield approximately 1 volt so here we can see that all the 12 volt is dissipated or dropped by these resistors so so we got our concept that uh, the voltage we have raised within a circuit must be dropped within the same circuit by any loads or resistors so hopefully uh, you got the concept regarding the kvl or kshap voltage law now you can make the circuit at your and thanks for watching